Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. This is what happens to the minds of the people that only want to be equal. We don't care that we was better than. We don't want what was taken from us. We want to be accepted. We want to be accepted. But God said you was the greatest thing on the earth. That's right. That's the thing that you should be accepted. How the hell you take a vacation day from fighting against your oppression to celebrate your oppressor? Right. Right. That don't even make sense. Showing you our mentality is done in this place. We've been destroyed. Couldn't wait to get to, to today to pop some fireworks. Hell, some of y'all been popping fireworks for the last month. Bring it out. But you wonder why your people at the bottom. Because you stand for nothing. Right. Especially you black men. You stand for nothing. Bring it out. Read that, Isaiah. Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Read it out. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe to you that call Gelada for good. You call Gelada for good when your ancestors was picking cotton that day, black man. That's right. Y'all were slaves in 1776. Right. For almost another hundred years you were slaves. Emancipation Proclamation wasn't signed until uh, 1865. So what you celebrating today? Do you understand what happened on the plantation when they had parties? Bring it out. See, a lot of you Negroes are ignorant of your own history. Teach. What would happen on a plantation to the slaves when the whites would have parties? Bring it on. I guarantee your ancestors dreaded the 4th of July. Right. Tell them about it. I'll tell you. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bring it up. Bring it up. I won't. Uh, I won't watch. I'm going to show you what would happen in the Bible on the parties of these men. The worst thing that can happen on a slave plantation is that the whites had a party. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 30. Bring it out. Thou shalt be trump a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Do you know that during this time they would come in your, in your little shack that you had and take your wife? Bring it out. Full of alcohol. Come and take your wife and lay with her. Right. Come take your ancestor's wife out of their own bed. And here you are in 2020 celebrating it. Break it out. A holiday wasn't nothing good for a slave. Right, right. They selling little packs of fireworks, $250, $450. We buying them. Yet you own nothing in your own community, but we got money for fireworks. Y'all don't, hey, don't know how to rebel against the system. That's why you need the Bible. That's why you need the Bible. That's why you need the prophets of God to come out here and show you. That's right. Because when left to your own devices, you have nothing. Saying you will betroth for wife and another man will lie with her. That happened in your slavery. Give me Isaiah 30 and 12. Bring it out. This is the problem with a people that don't really want freedom. We don't really want to be free in this place. We just want to be treated okay. We just want to be treated okay. Read that. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 12. Bring it on. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because thou despise this word uh -huh. and trust in oppression. The Bible says because you despise what we teach and you trust in your oppression. That's what it boiled down to. You trust in oppression. 
We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men were created equal. And then he went home to a house full of slaves. Bring it out. But fast forward to 2020, we've been so destroyed that we'll celebrate it freely. A lot of us couldn't wait. We had our clothes out all week waiting for the 4th of July. I thought y'all was just, I thought we was just protesting. I thought it was just Black Lives Matter. I thought we was actually standing for something. Bring it out. Y'all that took the revolution and put it on vacation. The revolution got a vacation day today. Teach. Us fighting for rights got a vacation day today. Read it again. Because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall. So this thing today is going to be as to you as a stumbling block, brothers and sisters. It's a trap. It's a sign that you ain't ready for the change that you think that you're talking about. Right. I cannot be against oppression and celebrate my oppressor's day at the same time. Bring it out. Bring it out. That's reality. That's right. That's reality. When you look at world history, there was nobody that was fighting for freedom. When you look at William Wallace and the Irishmen, they were not stopping fighting freedom to celebrate the English holidays. Bring it out. They fought tooth and nail for their freedom every day. Right. Oh, but not you so-called black men. You so-called black man was buying fireworks all month long to pop. And you wonder why nobody respects you. Teach. You wonder why nobody take us serious. Teach. Look at you today. Today is why nobody take you serious, black man. Yes, right. Today is why you will always be oppressed in this place. Bring it up. Because you don't take your damn self serious. Right. Read it. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly. Whose breaking cometh suddenly. A lot of y'all don't understand everything that's going on in the world is for your own freedom. The Lord is moving the planet to be able to free you from your captivity. And you too busy celebrating your captivity. Give me Habakkuk, the second chapter. Habakkuk chapter 2. At what point you gonna stand up and be real men? What a real man that is Chicago. That's right. Do you stand for nothing? Do you stand for nothing, black man? Do you not care about your people? Do you not want to get from under oppression? Right. Life is more than a nice pair of shoes and a nice outfit. Bring it out. Life is more than the money that you got sitting in your pocket. Or the job that you got to feed your family. Life is more than that. The Bible says, whoa, read it again. Whoa, to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay. Read verse 2. Verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So that's what we're doing today. We're reading the vision that's been written on tables. Right. What are we here to say? You so called blacks, you the Israelites. That's who you are. That's who you be. That's right. It's time for you to start living like it and acting like it. It's time for you to start living like it and acting like it. You can't put your fight to come from under oppression on vacation so you can celebrate your oppressors. Bring it out. At some point, somebody got to start standing up for us. Right. And since you don't want to do it, we'll do it. Right. We'll it do it. Give me Matthew chapter 26. How you doing, sister? You've been sitting there a while. You all right? Are you familiar with us? Not at all? Did you get a flyer? Good, good. Our information is on that flyer. Call us and contact us. You want to say something? Go ahead. 
As a whole, we spent trillions of dollars a year, but we ain't got nothing to show for it. We should just take our money and just build business. Like like other races, you know, like other races do build business. Like other races build business. Uh -huh. We should take our money and build business. We the brother said, I, I like what you're saying. The brother said it's a shame we spent trillions of dollars and got nothing to show for it as a people. You know why we got nothing to show for it as a people? Because we take our money and we buy fireworks with them. Bring it out. To celebrate our oppressor's freedom. In 1776, we were slaves. But you got Negroes spending thousands of dollars on fireworks today. Right. And renting an apartment. But we rent an apartment and we are buying thousands of dollars worth of fireworks. Here's what I'm saying. Ain't nobody going to come in our community and tell us these things, but we will. That's right. Your oppressor ain't going to come and tell you nothing that's going to better your people. It's going to be us that do it. That's right. And we're going to tell you whether you hate us or not. Whether you hate us or not. This is what you're saying. Read that. Then we Matthew 26. Haggai 1 and 6. You have sown much and bring in little. It's saying you sow much and bring in little. You bust your behind and work all day and got nothing to show for it. Breathe. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Uh -huh. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Yep. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. Uh -huh. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it in a bag with holes. Imagine if you got money, right? You worked all day and got money. You put it in a bag and a bag got a hole in it. What's going to happen to your money? It's going to fall out. You're not going to see no fruits of it. What is this saying? The Bible. The Bible. They used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.